Oh, puppies make me smile. Today on Ask the Expert, spring has sprung and it has many of us thinking about getting into the garden. Yeah, but if you have a pet like this adorable dog here, there are some safety tips you should keep in mind. Joining us this afternoon, Molly Griebling from the Wisconsin Humane Society. And you have who with you? <laughs> I have Mademoiselle Ryu. She Mademoiselle is, Ryu. And she's very hungry. She's yeah, she's very hungry. She's very fancy. Um, she's a total total princess here today. Um, but she is two months old. Um, she came to us from an overcrowded shelter and she is spayed, vaccinated and microchipped and she is ready to find a home today when we get back to the Milwaukee campus at about five. Great. And she has a great coat. It's kind of blonde, kind of a platinum blonde. Yeah. She has a beautiful coat and it's very soft. And then her nose is speckled. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a speckled She's fancy. Nose. She's fancy. And yeah. her belly's also speckled. You have to get her a little gold collar or something. <laughs> oh, I know, right? A little bling bling. So <laughs> let's talk, though, about the dangers of plants and being in the garden. Yeah. What should we be thinking about with our pets? So there are hundreds of plants that are actually toxic to dogs to ingest. So it's really important that before you buy your plants this summer to make sure that you're looking them up to make sure that they aren't toxic to your animals. So common plants such as azaleas, daffodils, tulips, those are actually all toxic for your dog to ingest. Um, and a lot of those are really common around Easter time mm -hmm. too. Um, so you're gonna wanna make sure that your pet stays away from those. And if they do you know, ingest that, they could get you know, gastrointestinal upset, they could have a coma, or they could even have death because of it. And that's just a plant, but you know, a lot of us put different chemicals and pesticides, insecticides yeah. on the plant, that could be really dangerous. Absolutely, so when it comes to insecticides and pesticides, they are all toxic to animals. So you wanna make sure that when you're using that, that you're following the directions and you can look up to to see which ones are safer than the others. Um, after you do an application, obviously keep your pet away from that area and you wanna at least have them off that area for at least 72 hours. If you can do more, that's even better. Um, out, there's also mulches too. Um, you wanna stay away from cocoa bean mulch. Um, that's, that's toxic for dogs to ingest. So if you can go with the natural woods like um, cedar or pine, that's better. Um, and as far as fertilizers go, there are definitely fertilizers out there that are pet safe. So you'll just wanna look that up and make sure you're choosing the correct one. A lot to think about as you get, yeah. as you get into the garden. Thank you so much for coming by. And Mademoiselle. Hey.